Acrobat 10 has made it easier to access a number of useful tools for manipulating pages in PDF documents. These tools are easily accessed in the new Tools panel and are located in the Pages section. In this video, we will focus on the basics of manipulating pages with an emphasis on the use of the new Tools panel. So to rotate a page, we'll click on the Rotate tool. And for direction, we can select the amount and direction of the rotations counterclockwise, clockwise, 180 degrees. And for pages, we can specify all the pages or just certain pages. You can specify even, odd pages, or both, and select the orientation of the pages to be rotated. I'll click OK. And when I'm done, I see my changes in place. To temporarily change the view of the page, you can use the menu bar and select View, Rotate View, and choose either clockwise or counterclockwise. The original page orientation is restored the next time you open a PDF. To delete a page or pages using the Tools menu, first click the Delete tool, and when prompted, select a range of pages that you want to delete. You can also use the Pages Navigation pane over here on the left to first select the pages you wanted to delete and then use the Delete tool to remove them. Selected pages. Are you sure? We click OK and they're deleted. We can also press the Delete key on the keyboard to do the same thing. Extraction is the process of reusing selected pages of one PDF in a different PDF. Extracted pages contain not only the content, but include form fields, comments, and links associated with the original page content. You can leave the extracted pages in the original document, or you can remove them during the extraction process. To extract pages, let's click on the Extract tool, and let's specify a range of pages to extract. To remove the extracted pages from the original document, select Delete Pages after extraction. To create a single page PDF for each extracted page, select Extract Pages as separate files. To leave the original pages in the document and create a single PDF that includes all the extracted pages, leave both checkboxes deselected. When you're ready, click OK and you'll see the extracted pages are placed in a new document. You can split documents into multiple smaller documents. When splitting a PDF document, you can specify the split by maximum number of pages, maximum file size, or by top-level bookmarks. To split an open document into one or more individual documents, we'll use the Split Document tool right here. In the Split Document dialog box, you can specify the criteria for dividing the document. The number of pages, the maximum number of pages for each in the split, the file size, maximum file size for each document in the split, and for documents with bookmarks, the top-level bookmarks choice creates one document for every top-level bookmark. To specify a target folder for the split files and file name preferences, click Output Options, Specify the options as needed. In this example, I've made some bookmarks in the document and would like to split these documents based on the top-level bookmarks. When I use the Split Document tool and choose Top-Level Bookmarks, you'll see that four new documents are created. You can use page thumbnails to copy or move pages within a document and copy pages between documents. I'm going to close out my Tools menu for a second here, and I'm going to show you the Pages icons. Now we can expand our thumbnails, and we can move pages within the document by dragging and dropping to a new location. But we can also use a pair of documents to easily drag from one to the next. So I'm going to tile my two pages, my two documents vertically. I have Pages View open, and I wish to make a copy of pages from one document into another. So I can select them, 
and drag them into a new location. And I've made a copy. If I wish to make copies of pages using this technique, I can select a page I want to copy and I can option drag or control drag on Windows to make a new page in that document. Inserting pages with Acrobat 10 is easy when you use the Insert from File tool located in the Tools panel. When you click on the Insert File tool, you'll be prompted to select the file to insert and whether to insert it before or after the first or last page of the document. Click OK when you're ready to complete the action and Acrobat 10 takes care of the rest. In Acrobat 10, you have new insert options. These are found in the Pages tab as well. Now let's take a look at these. Under More Insert Options, we have the ability here to insert from the clipboard as a PDF, content from our scanner, the web, or even insert a blank page. Acrobat converts the content to PDF and inserts it right in your document. So as you can see, the new Pages section of the Tools panel makes manipulating pages in Acrobat 10 a whole lot easier.